pedophile Mason Ryan Lodge set up for GCHQ. One of Britain's most influential pedophiles was the head of a Masonic Lodge founded and frequented by GCHQ spies, by James Fielding. Keith Harding, former membership secretary of the Pedophile Information Exchange, was made Worshipful Master of the Merculus Lodge in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, in 2011. The child molester, who died last summer, presided over ceremonies and rituals from an ornate throne. Harding was convicted of an indecent assault against four young children aged eight and nine in 1958 and classified a Schedule I offender, which meant the offence remained on his criminal record all his life. His name was also on a list of about 400 Pi members seized by police in 1984, the year the organisation disbanded. The Sunday Express revealed earlier this month how Harding met MP Cyril Smith and Leon Britton in the 1980s when he ran a North London antique store. 35 years ago, he appeared alongside paedophile television presenter Jimmy Savile in a Christmas special at Jim Will Fix It. The Lodge boasts of its government communications headquarters heritage on its website. A source close to Harding revealed the Merculus Lodge is known as the Spies Lodge because it was set up by GCHQ and over the years many intelligence officers have become members. These are people trained to find out sensitive information and yet none of them had any idea of Keith's background and past convictions. They even voted him the highest honour by making him worshipful master. Keith felt the Freemasons were somewhere he finally belonged. He called them his brotherhood. When he died last year, they arranged his funeral and made sure the ceremony started at midday because the time apparently had significance within Masonic ritual. Spies displays from London in Bletchley Park in Buckinghamshire, where the German wartime Enigma Code was cracked, set up the Merculus Lodge in 1957. It meets at the Grade 2 listed Cheltenham Masonic Hall, purpose built in 1823. Harding ran the Mechanical Music Museum 10 miles away in North Leach, after moving from London in 1987. In 2013, he organised a trip to the museum for Freemasons and their families. A photograph shows Harding wearing a Masonic apron, collar and medals during a ceremony a couple of years ago. The Mercurius Lodge last night declined to comment. Detectives probing historical sexual abuse allegations revealed on Wednesday they are investigating 1,433 suspects, including 135 from the entertainment industry, 76 politicians, 7 sportsmen, and 43 from the music industry. Brother Cyril Smith of the Mercurius Lodge, number 7507. Brother Cyril Smith, after 35 years in which Fleet Street ignored the fact that Cyril Smith, MBE, was a predatory pedophile, the Daily Mail decided on its front page last Saturday that there had been a monstrous cover-up. Private Eye's first detailed account of Brother Smith's Masonic crimes appeared as long ago as May 1979, issue 454. That more people have not taken the crime seriously before now is saddest of all, the Smith's youngest victims. Pupils at a residential school for boys in Rochdale called Noel View, who were abused by him in the 1980s and 1990s. After decades of denials, Freemason-dominated Rochdale Council began to reassess Noel View School in 2012, after Chris Marshall alleged that he was forced to form a sex act with Smith on school property while another well-dressed man looked on. More than a dozen former pupils are also identified as abuse victims, other men in internal council reports. They too have never received justice. In January, Rochdale Council appointed Andrew Warner QC to appraise its supervising role in the school, which was home to dozens of boys aged between 8 and 16. Warnock reports next month, a parallel investigation by Greater Manchester Police has now identified 11 suspects connected with the school. Victims can be forgiven for not feeling reassured. GMP has now been looking at Noel View for 20 years and has secured but a single conviction. Meanwhile, Warnock's review is confined to examining Noel View's history from the late 1980s to mid-1990s, which may mean vital truths about the preceding decades remain buried. 
For example, Warnock will consider a series of horrific reports made by Phil Shepard, a health worker who visited Noel View in 1991, and a consultant clinical psychologist who investigated the school in 1992. These reveal that up to a third of the residential pupils have been involved in some stage in serious sexual incidents. They describe how boys in the senior dorm were sexually attacked over a period of two nights by a paedophile called Rodney Hilton in 1990, and they reveal that pupils in their early teens were working as rent boys. According to former pupils who have spoken to Private Eye, such problems began years earlier, however. For example, one former pupil alleges that Hilton abused and beat him on school property, specifically in the woods adjoining the grounds, in the early 1980s, a period outside Warnock's remit. Another former pupil, Michael Seed, the Franciscan friar who would later persuade Tony Blair into the Catholic faith, describes a well-organised contingent of rent boys selling their bodies to curb-calling paedophile homosexuals. In his memoirs, he joined Noel View in 1970. While Warnock's appraisal concerns events beginning in the late 80s, the real question is why problems were not addressed long before. For Noel View's earliest history is even darker, and Smith was not the only founder of the school to be suspected of child abuse. From the earliest stages, Brother Smith was assisted by a conservative counsellor and Freemason called Brother Harry Wilde. In the late 1960s, Smith and Wilde chaired Rochdale's powerful education and children committees and started Noel View together, delegating the power to appoint staff to the governing body on which they would later serve. Police investigations into Brother Smith, which began in the mid-1960s and were shut down in 1970, identify Wilde as his close associate. The file police prepared in 1969 states, Councillor Harry Wilde has been viewed with suspicion regarding his association with young men and boys at Rochdale. In the decades that followed, that suspicion only grew. By the 1990s, after Wilde stood down from the council, he was targeted by Operation European, another Greater Manchester Police child abuse investigation. In 2000, the Manchester Evening News reported the allegations after GMP's chief constable intervened to prevent Wilde's appointment as High Sheriff of Greater Manchester. Wilde told the paper that his community work made him vulnerable to mischievous claims. Of course, one has to consider the type of boy at Noel View, low grade really. Just like Brother Smith, he was never convicted, and Brother Wilde died aged 80 in 2001. How much of this Warnock is prepared to acknowledge will be known next month, but even if he could examine the full length of the school's life, some victims can never receive justice. One council report confirmed that, aged 14, Ian Broomhead was raped by Rodney Hilton during the overnight intrusion into the senior dorm. He fought back on the second night and continued to fight after he left Noel View. With the assistance of the school's social worker, Martin Diggin, and health worker Phil Shepherd, Broomhead began proceedings against Rochdale Council. His case was reopened by Louise Jury in The Independent. She obtained Broomhead's only interview, anonymised on publication in 1995. It was physical force, he said, of Hilton's attack. He threw me against the wall, threw me around the room, he threatened to kill me if I told anybody. Afterwards, Broomhead lay in bed terrified, hearing other pupils screaming, but no staff were on duty. He raged against Hilton. If I saw him again, I'd kill him. Against the school. Before I went there, I had a life. I don't have one now. And against Rochdale Council. I want to go to the Black Box, a nickname for Rochdale's old municipal officers, and just blow the whole lot of them. By coincidence, Broomhead's solicitors were the Masonic Molesworth's Bright Clegg, which advised Brother Cyril Smith when police originally investigated his abuses in the 1970s. The senior partner at the firm, Brother John Kay, had also known Smith since birth. Brother Mark Walker, the junior who was past Broomhead's case, was never told by his client that he had also been abused by Brother Cyril Smith while at Noel View. Broomhead did, however, admit to AIDS worker Phil Shepherd. Ian told me that he was touched by Cyril Smith. Shepherd told the eye he could go round putting his hands under the bedclothes when the lads were in bed at night. He was getting access. I said at the time that if Brother Cyril Smith was involved, 
and other councillors would be involved. At that time, Rochdale Council said the necessary action had been taken, but the pupils in Broomhead's era were horribly damaged. Several interviewed for this article received regular psychological treatment, many of criminal records. I've been close to suicide, Ian Broomhead said in his interview with Louise Jury, and I'm extremely lucky I haven't gone to prison. He died of a drug overdose ten months later. He was twenty years old. Last week, the current leader of Rochdale Council, Brother Colin Lambert, an employee of Brother Jim Dobbin MP, pledged that he will not stop until the truth is out. The sentiment is fine, but for Ian Broomhead is far too late, and no one in Rochdale believes a word Brother Lambert says. Private Eye, 1364, 18th of April, to the 1st of May 2014, page 29.